Hello, I'm Brett Lusso, Business Development Sales Manager here at Harrington Hoist, and today I want to tell you about an incredible new feature on our NER electric chain hoist. Traditional hoists have a mechanical limit switch. On the ER NER, we rely on a paddle limit switch to stop the hook in the utmost direction and the lower limit device and the hook in the down direction. Well, this mechanical device causes a lot of stress, not only on chain, but also on the motor and the gearbox. This brand new feature eliminates all that stress on the chain, motor, and gearbox by setting a limit through the push button control on the variable frequency drive itself. I'd like to demonstrate this. First of all, a traditional hoist, as I talked about, relies on the mechanical limit switch at the point of contact when the hook hits the hoist body. Now, let's say I have an operation such as a plating operation or a pick and place operation where I want the hook to stop at the exact point every time. So maybe it's a basket full of parts down into a chemical bath for a plating operation. Well, I just want to submerse the basket. I don't want to submerse all the chain or the hook. So quite simply, when I just get to the point where my lower limit needs to be set, it's very simple. I simply engage my e-stop or emergency stop. Now at this point in time, I go to the first stage of my two-stage button and hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now I disengage my emergency stop. Now I'm going to travel the hook up so that I can show you that the lower limit has been set. Up, now down. And that's it, the lower limit has been set and that hook will stop at the exact precise time every single time I operate this hoist. The neat thing about this hoist is I can set my upper limit the exact same way. So let's say I wanna stop my hook, oh say 12 inches from impacting the hoist body. I take my hook to the position that I'd like to stop it. In this case, we'll say about 12 inches. Now, I hit my emergency stop button and now I hold the up button, but first stage for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now the upper limit has been set as well. I disengage my emergency stop. Now I'll take the hook down and then bring it back up to show you that the limit has been set. Okay. Notice that the hoist goes to the low speed and now my upper limit is engaged as well. It no longer will travel in the up direction. Outstanding new feature from Harrington. The great thing about this feature is the operator can set it through the pendant. You no longer have to open the control panel or go inside the hoist to set the limit switch. It can simply be done by the operator and the push button station. Okay, so to reset your upper limit or lower limit in the event that you want to change the position, very simple. I once again have set my upper limit switch. As you notice, the hoist will not op operate in the up direction. Now, to reset this upper limit, I simply push in my emergency stop. Now, I engage the second step of my two-stage button. Hold this for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And now this upper limit has been canceled out. I'll show you. First, I'll operate the hoist down. And now the hook will travel all the way up to the mechanical limit switch. One great feature is the fact that when the hook travels in the high speed and gets close to engaging the mechanical limit switch, the low speed of the hoist actually engages and kicks in. This low speed puts less stress on the bearings, motor, gearbox, and chain. Let me demonstrate. As you saw, the low speed engaged before the hook came in contact with the limit switch. One of the great new features from Harrington Hoist, available on the NER three-phase electric chain hoist. Operator can set it through the hand control and doesn't have any limitations to lift length. Harrington, bringing you innovation, join the revolution.